So what inspired me to get involved with this project was my sister and the students at Stuyvesant High School. Because the students are so wonderful, they really wanted to give back and to help other teenagers. And my sister, who was going through the process of being treated for breast cancer herself. So between those two pushes, I just, it was a natural thing. So basically when I went there, I signed like a few waivers, I don't know, just in case my head gets cut off or something. But then um, uh, after signing the waivers, they I basically sat down with a bunch of other people and then there were several uh, hairstylists and I got my hair cut. It could not have gone better. We had five stylists and we needed every single one of them. Originally I just had planned for three. Mm -hmm. We had five. We really needed every one of them. It went smoothly. The kids looked beautiful when they came out. I thought they were just gonna like you know go and bye, but they really looked. Some of them really looked stunning. We're now waiting for the um, stylist. So they have not arrived yet. As soon as they do, we have our first three ready to go, and our first boy is going first. So if you are going to be around, definitely take a look. Several years ago, and, um, several of the students, about four or five of the students, did a Locks for Love drive. But it wasn't Locks for Love, it was a different organization. But they did it, I know that they did it then. But since then, I don't see anything, um, you know, anything like that through. I would like to make it a, a yearly mm -hmm. thing. You know, I think maybe the spring might be better because kids tend to get their hair cut in the spring more than they do yeah. in the winter. So maybe the spring might be a better annual. Hi, how are you doing? Nervous? <laughs> Do you have to ask that? <laughs> they had um, three, I think it was three or four stands, so multiple people got their hair cut at the same time. But I was like in the first round. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. ready. Alright, here we go. Take okay. a deep breath. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna have a good Like this way? <laughs> yeah, I'm crying. I miss my hair already. <laughs> Make a wig for me. <laughs> I mean, it was exciting, partially because I had a bunch of people who came there just to see me cut my hair after maybe like two years, and they were cheering me on, which was pretty cool. But it was it was exciting. I think it was successful. We got maybe 20 or 30 people to donate, which really makes a difference because I believe it's like the 10 people, uh, collections of hair makes one wig, which is, I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you think of how many people actually end up donating their hair, it's probably, it probably made a huge difference. Okay, here you go. Oh my god. <laughs> Looks so different. Yeah, definitely. Good, different. Good, different. I'll get used to it. <laughs> you don't want to look any more. So I think we'll do something for the spring. Not exactly sure what we'll do. I know that there are a lot of walks for uh, cancer cure and so on. We we'll may try to organize something from Stuyvesant for that. I don't know if we'll do another locks for love, although that's been suggested. You know that we do that. So we'll have to see. But we'll do something.